Hi, this is Len Oliver. Um, I went to a webinar today for a program from Canada um, called Today. And what it is, it's almost like a digital planner for Google Classroom. Now, as it stands nowadays with Google Classroom, we have all sorts of kids who are doing it and teachers also. Now, some of the younger grades were not so bad. We have one teacher and students and other teachers can come in, they can share. But once you get up there in those upper grades, you could have four, five, six Google Classrooms. And sometimes it can be a little hard to organize this stuff. This digital planner is literally, it's called Today. I'm going to show you a little bit about it. I'm still new at it, but I really would like to see this take off, especially for some of the kids who need help with organizing and planning their day. So I'm going to go into my student account so you could see roughly what I'm looking at. Okay, and I'll just hit a reload here so that things can come onto the screen. Now, I've asked a friend of mine, John, to invite me to his classroom as a student just so that you could see what happens. Instead of having just two classrooms, three, four, and the kids got to go in and find out which ones that they have, what I'll do instead is I'll go into my today. Now, when I look at my today, once I got logged in, I have all of my inbox. Today goes into the Google Classroom, goes into your calendar. It finds out all of the activities and things that you need that have a due date. So, for example, you can tell from the colors, these are from two different classes. If I had to have three or four different classrooms there, they would have different colors coming up. Now, the student can look through and these things here, say an assignment is done, and this says that I have something planned for today. So I'm just taking a look through and see. Now let's just go into this May the 4th assignment and take a look at what it looks like. It says May 4th assignment, it's due today, so I have to have it done today. How much time am I going to use on this? Well, I know all of the activities there. I can go in. I can decide, okay, I'm probably going to need to spend an hour on all this. And once I choose the day, uh, the day that I'm going to be using it, uh, which is today, because it is due today, uh, maybe I'm going to start that at 4.30. Because I know then that my parents are coming home and they can help me out. Then I click save. And as you can tell, it com comes onto my today, my today plan. So if the student wants to uh, put in, I'm going outside to play for an hour, they can place that in there. Now, some assignments like this one, that's done in four days time. So if you have something that's done in four days time, you can look down here and see what the material is and depending on when you think, maybe I'm going to spend an hour on it and I'm going to spend it uh, tomorrow. And I'm going to choose that I'm going to go on to it at 10 a.m. tomorrow. I'm going to get it. I, you know, I've got a lot to do tonight and I'm going to pop this into here. All buttons are located on the same window and easy to click on. Now, when time rolls over, this will automatically pop up to my today if I'm this student. Okay, so all of these little ones with the triangles, these are all late type assignments, so students can go over and you can look through all of the material. Now, because of the fact that this is integrated with Google Classroom, uh, you will see this also pop up on your calendar. So, if the students have it on multiple devices, then they can check their phones, they can look in at their tablets, they can see what stuff that they have. One of the other things they mentioned is if it's a group project or something that they want to share with people, they can click on it, they can go in and they get full calendar. They can choose when to set up a meeting, they can choose what it looks like, who to invite as guests. So it really does marry itself to a lot of the Google projects and activities that you have. 